Hey guys, what's up? My name is Sonali, if you guys don't already know me. And today I'm gonna to be sharing with you some outfit ideas for sorority recruitment. Normally there are five rounds. At UCF we have UCF Day 1, UCF Day 2, Philanthropy Day, Video Day, and preference round. And then that following Saturday is bid day. At my school, there is an event on the previous Sunday where you get to meet your Rho Gamma and the people that are in your Rho Gamma group. For this day, just dress really casual, maybe just like a cute top and some shorts. We had to sit on the ground, so I would recommend wearing some really flowy shorts that are gonna be comfortable for that. Other than that day, I showed you guys two outfit ideas for each day. Let's get started. So first, let's talk about jewelry. I wanna emphasize that you should keep your jewelry on the simple side. Unless you have a simple dress that you need to dress it up with, you can wear a little bit more of a statement piece. So I have two ear piercings. The first hole, I am wearing my Kate Spade stud earrings. And then in the second hole, I'm wearing some earrings from Anthropology. Obviously, you can get studs that are a little bit smaller, whatever fits your taste. But I think studs are so perfect because they can match any outfit. This is the Druzy necklace from Kendra Scott, and I literally wore this almost every day of recruitment. I love dressing up my simple outfits with this, but if a dress is too simple for your liking, you can always add more of a statement necklace. Next, I want to show you guys some different options for bracelets. I really recommend getting stackable bracelets. These bracelets in particular are from Lily and Laura, and they have so many different colors so you can literally match every one of your outfits. Next, I have this gold bangle set, and I got it from Versona Accessories. They were super inexpensive, so do not feel like you need to splurge on any jewelry because you can find some really nice stuff at places like Forever 21. I also bought this bracelet at Versona Accessories. This bracelet is a lookalike from the David Yurman collection, and I just think it's really classy and it'll go with any outfit. Now that I showed y'all the jewelry that I wore during recruitment week, it's time to give you guys some inspiration for outfits to wear during the week as well. The first two days of recruitment are the most casual, so they will be providing you with two t-shirts and then you are responsible for the bottom half of your outfit, obviously. You can wear shorts or a skirt if you want. You can play it safe and wear some plain shorts but again, do not feel the need to splurge on chino shorts. I know American Eagle and Target has really similar fitting ones to these. You can also put your own twist on the whole outfit just to make your personality shine through. I wore some colorful floral shorts from TJ Maxx. You can also wear jean shorts, but make sure they don't have too many rips or have your booty cheeks hanging out of them because that will not be appropriate for this week. For the first two days, just wear really cute and comfy sandals. Emphasis on the comfy, guys. These ones are from Sam Edelman. The next day will probably be Philanthropy Day. I recommend wearing a really fun pattern dress. This is a shift dress with a high neckline from Forever 21. I recommend looking for a lot of high neckline dresses. First of all, they're very in right now and so trendy. And secondly, they are very classy and you look so put together when you wear them. Also, you should look for more shift dresses or flowy dresses because body cons are not appropriate for recruitment week. Plus, shift dresses are very flowy and breezy, so this will make you a little less hot. On this day, people stick to sandals, so I just paired mine with the same sandals I wore for the first two days. This dress is a little bit too low, but I just wanted to show you guys because I thought it was so unique and it's also a shift dress from Forever 21. Wearing bright colors and pretty patterns like this really does make you stand out. Since this is just another outfit idea for Philanthropy Day, I paired the same Sam Edelman shoes with this dress.
The next day will probably be video day, so just a little bit more fancy than philanthropy day. I would compare the dress code to a graduation dress. So maybe you can even rewear your graduation dress and that will be one less outfit that you have to worry about. This day people start wearing wedges and these ones are from 6pm.com. This is another outfit idea for video day. I love this dress because it is super fancy because of the material, but it has a really fun color blocking pattern, so it does make you stand out. And I paired these same wedges with this dress. Next up is preference night. This round is the most fancy round, and I would compare the dress code to something you would wear to a wedding. When people think of preference round, they usually think of black outfits, and honestly, most of the sisters of the sororities are going to be wearing black, so I would personally say stray away from black if you can. But I wanted to show you guys this really cool romper. It's like a wrap-up dress in the front, but then shorts in the back. And yes, I probably should have ironed it before I showed you guys, but you know, you get the gist. For this round, I chose to wear a little bit of a fancier heel. If you guys aren't going to wear wedges and you want to wear heels, I would recommend getting one that has a platform because the ones without it are the ones that hurt. And the last outfit idea is another one for preference round. I got this dress at Charlotte Russe and I love it because of the detail at the top. It has like beaded straps, I don't know, it just looks so unique. And then I paired these same heels with this dress. If you guys are not comfortable with wearing heels, you absolutely do not have to but I would definitely pick a fancier sandal. I also want to quickly mention that you don't really need to buy a purse that matches every single outfit because you won't even be bringing your bag into any of the parties. You'll be leaving it in the tent, so no need to splurge on anything crazy, even if it's for your outfit. There are so many cute outfits at Forever 21 or online boutiques that are really affordable. I hope you guys found this video really helpful and found some inspiration for your outfits for recruitment week. Comment down below what was your favorite outfit that I showed you guys. Good luck to all the PNMs out there and happy shopping. I will see y'all in my next video. Bye guys. Oh,